Come and listen to my story about a man named Jed. A poor mountaineer barely kept his family fed. And then one day he was shooting at some food. And up through the ground come a bubble and crude. Oil, that is, black gold, Texas tea. Well, the first thing you know, old Jed's a millionaire. The kin folks said, Jed, move away from there. Said, California is the place you ought to be. So they loaded up the truck and they moved to Beverly. Hills, that is, swimming pools, movie stars. The Beverly Hillbilly. Majesty, ma'am. Jed, don't you go to jinxing me. I ain't queen yet. Granny, you got this election in your pocket. Miss Drysdale ain't even putting up a scrap. And that's what's got me wondering what she's up to. Do you reckon that she's gonna pull out of the race? That ain't likely. Miss Drysdale sets a great store by being a society leader of Beverly Hills. You know she ain't gonna turn down a chance to be possum queen. <laughs> that's true. But then why is she laying back? Politics, you never know. Jed, do you think she's planning to come out at the last minute with a smear campaign? There ain't nothing she can dig up again you. Is there? Jed, the road of life is long and rocky. And when you've walked as many miles as I have, you're, you're likely to stumble a time or two. Well, I reckon your slate's as clean as any. Maybe? Jeff Lord and me's got some more election posters ready for you. Well, give them to my campaign manager here. I can't stand it no longer. I gotta peek through the hedge and see what Miss Drysdale's up to. <laughs> she ain't up to nothing. We could have told her that. Well, let me see the posters. Maybe we can stir up something. <laughs> Granny the Possum's choice. <laughs> Vote the Granny ticket. Granny will cut taxes. <laughs> Granny will cut taxes? <laughs> yes, sir. That's a real popular campaign promise. Everybody from mayor to president makes that one. <laughs> yeah, but Granny ain't. Well, I reckon she can keep it about as good as the others have. You got some more, too, Paul. Where do you want them? I want them where Mrs. Drysdale is sure to see them. Wednesday is Possum Day, and there still ain't no sign of her campaign. Ain't no sign of Possum Day, neither. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, he and me's been all over Beverly Hills. Don't look like they's getting ready for no festival. Right or nothing. We ought to gone back home like we started to. Yeah, instead of letting Mr. Drysdale talk us out of it. Yeah, we could have. Now, now, youngins. Mr. Drysdale promised us a bigger deal than the one back home. And he is a man of his word. Chief, why did you lie to them? <laughs> I did not lie to them. But you promised them the Beverly Hills would put on a fabulous Boston festival. No, I did not. I promised them you would put it on. Now it's up to you to see that I keep my word. Well, but there's nothing I can do without the official approval of the city. You've already been turned on by Pasadena, Santa Ana, Azusa, Cucamonga. All right, all right. Chief, I implore you, before it's too late, let's put the Clabbits on a plane for home. Oh. It's the only place in the civilized world where Possum Day is celebrated. Well, I'm going to change that. There must be plenty of communities around here that would jump at that opportunity. Now, let's see. Ah! Here's one, right on the coast. Possum Beach. That's Pismo Beach. <laughs> no, it is. Well, maybe they'll change it. Granny'd like that. And that's another thing. Granny thinks she's running for Possum Queen against your wife. So? So your wife doesn't even know about it. And, and Granny keeps wondering when she's going to start her campaign. She's going to start her campaign this morning. She is? Yes. She doesn't know it, but she is. Happy dear? Well, I suppose so. But aren't you neglecting things at your precious bank? Not at all. I can dictate as we're driving. Uh, let's swing by the Clampett place. Oh, Milburn, whatever for? I want to show those peasants what real class looks like. <laughs> Oh, 
to wait out here. All Mr. Drysdale said was to go out front. There was something coming by we ought to see. Well, he better hurry. And... Yonder comes the limousine. What's that sign on the front? It says, vote for Maggie. She's come out in the open at last. She's speaking on the side. She's campaigning for real now. I don't want no shoe in. Down with Granny. <laughs> Disgusting exhibition. What's that, dear? Granny is running behind. She probably thinks she can beat you to the corner. Beat me? In a limousine? Huh, how utterly absurd. That a circle of blocks she'll follow us clear into town. <laughs> it's a disgrace to Beverly Hills. She and her entire family should be run out of town. Did you notice that sign on the front of the mansion? Granny for Possum Queen? What a revolting idea. Keep talking, dear. Why doesn't that stupid woman give up? Come back here, Jethro. Right in here, Jethro. Easy now. Hey, she is really bushed. She was holding her on the first two or three miles. I think she'd have caught the car if she hadn't a trip. <laughs> I reckon you best towed her right on up to her room. Ah, you don't. I got a campaign to run. Really, I think you've done enough running for a while. I declare you look like the last prune in the box. I'll be all right. Get me out of this heat. <laughs> all right. I'm all right. And now that Miss Drysdale has showed her hand, we got a swing in action. Ellie, you go and put on a pretty dress and commence passing my vote getters around house to house. Yes, and Granny. Vote getters? Yes, Jed. It's a gift package. A little sample of my lye soap, some candied crawdads, a couple of molasses cookies, and for them voters that's on the fence, a little snort of my friendly persuader. <laughs> That ought to knock him off the fence. I never could afford a campaign like this when I was running for queen back home. I knew. Politics is a rich man's game. True. <laughs> Jethro, you get busy and start making me some signs mean mouth than Miss Drysdale. Well, how far you want to go, Granny? Call her anything you can think of. Remember what William Jennings Bryan said? Fight hard, but fight clean. Well, you ain't fighting clean, Granny. Of course I ain't. William Jennings Bryan was a loser. <laughs> Granny is running behind. Well, she probably thinks she can beat you to the corner. Beat me? In a limousine? How utterly absurd. That a circle of blocks she'll follow us clear to town. That little woman is a disgrace to Beverly Hills. She and her entire family should be run out of town. I told you I'd get Margaret's campaign going. Call the radio station and buy some time. For this? Well, with a little editing and the proper questions, this can make a very explosive interview. <laughs> it might even get Margaret elected possum queen. <laughs> you are a victim of self-hypnosis. There is not going to be a possum queen or a possum festival or a possum parade or a possum anything. You haven't taken care of those details. <laughs> All right, all right, don't get hysterical. I'll pull this out of the fire for you. <laughs> when I get through at the radio station, I'll pick out the spot for the celebration. Let's see. Seal Beach, Costa Mesa, Dana Point, San Clemente. Oh, I'm going to make one of these little communities world famous as the home of the International Possum Festival. <laughs> Ready? How's this for a mean mouth and sign? <laughs> Well, that's the right idea, but it could be a mite stronger. Oh, look at this side. <laughs> better. Ready? Mr. Drysdale said there's a radio program coming on that he wants us to hear. <laughs> right here is where it's coming on. This is KBH, the voice of Beverly Hills. The following is a paid political announcement by the Margaret Drysdale for Possum Queen Committee. <laughs> Mrs. Drysdale, how do you think the campaign is going? Granny is running behind. Think she has a chance to beat you? Beat me? How utterly.
utterly absurd. <laughs> How do you feel about your opponent personally? That little woman is a disgrace to Beverly Hills. <laughs> she and her entire family should be run out of town. My doggies, that's hitting low. <laughs> I'm sure those words are spoken only in the heat of a political battle. When the election is over, you'll probably be good friends. What a revolting idea. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Drysdale. Why doesn't that stupid woman give up? Thank you, Mrs. Drysdale. What a disgusting exhibition. Thank you, Mrs. Drysdale. We now return you to our regularly scheduled program. Now, Granny, don't cut loose in front of the youngins. Go in the pantry first and let off some steam. Uh oh, fetch your back, Jethro. I'm sorry, Granny, but there's a limit, even in politics. <laughs> Sure, my husband said he wanted to go for another drive. Yes, madam, we're to pick him up in town. Well, I'm glad he's finally realized what a great social asset I am to him. Yes, madam. <laughs> Come on, Ellie. Come on. <laughs> Just want to make sure I had all the boat getters. All right, get up here in the back, honey, so you can hang them out. Yes, you can. <laughs> Duke! <laughs> Go around the neighborhood now. Give everybody a look. Ready when you are, Mr. Campaign Manager. Right to the middle of town, boy. Duke is getting a neighborhood vote. We'll go after the man in the street. <laughs> yes, sir. Put your needle on, Granny. Let her roll, boy. Drysdale found a spot for the Possum Festival? Not yet. So far, he's bombed all the way down the coast. <laughs> Last report has him headed for San Juan Capistrano. Drysdale's office. Chief, where are you? San Diego? Well, what, what happened in San Juan? Oh, really? <laughs> well, they do have a point. It just doesn't sound as romantic when the possums return to Capistrano. <laughs> Chief, Chief, why, why don't you give up and come back? Tell the club it's the truth and admit... <laughs> all right, all right. You're the boss. He's confident he can sell the possum festival to the next town. He does, and he'll just about have to come back. He's almost to the border. Perkins, this is getting ridiculous. We've covered every foot of Beverly Hills three times. I'm sorry, madam, but I just can't remember the corner where Mr. Drysdale said he would meet us. Probably back at the bank by now. Take me there immediately. People are beginning to stare and point and even laugh. Miss Hathaway, Miss Hathaway. I'm sorry, Judge. Miss Hathaway, there is no further news. Ever since the chief crossed the border, a curtain of silence has descended. Well, there's plenty of noise around here. The Clampets are circling the block in Granny's campaign truck. They're announcing a big political rally in the bank parking lot. Oh, dear. Well, let's get down there and see what we can do. Gather around, folks. Granny's going to discuss the issues of this campaign. You're going to hear some real name calling and mud slinging. 
<laughs> Ready? Now, after the speech making, for them voters that's still undecided, my daughter is going to pass among you with some uh, friendly persuaders. <laughs> now, we're going to start off the rally by singing Granny's campaign song. Put your needle on. <laughs> Here's your choice for possum queen, Granny, Granny. She don't ride no limousine, Granny, all the way. Hey, lady, what's this all about? Probably one of those hidden camera shows. <laughs> Queen of Beverly Hills, Granny! <laughs> Fellow citizens, I'm gonna tell you about the woman that's running against me in this election. She has the brain of a chicken, <laughs> the disposition of an alligator, <laughs> and the figure of an overstuffed silo. <laughs> Folks, uh, what the candidate is hinting at, uh, well, as you know, the queen gets her weight in possums. Well, granny hair don't weigh seven stones sopping wet. But in order to balance off Ms. Drysdale, it's going to take 30 or 40 good-sized possums. And where is them extra possums coming from? From your own backyard. <laughs> What is this outrageous spectacle? Look what she's got writ on her car. The next possum queen. Oh! 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 Look at her run. She knows when she's whipped. Morning, Miss Hathaway. Morning, Joe. Persons Bureau. You mean Mr. Drysdale is still... Not a trace. I didn't sleep a wink last night. Neither did I. Chief! <laughs> Where have you been? Riding a burrow across Mexico. <laughs> well, what about my car? Just a little misunderstanding. I got it back this morning. <laughs> but there isn't going to be any possum festival. I was even turned down by Death Valley. <laughs> oh, I should have listened to you, Miss Hathaway. I never should have lied to the Clampers. It was just my foolish pride. We'll take you home so you can get some rest. No, no. First, I must face the Clampers and tell them the truth. Confess everything. I'm through with dishonesty and deceit. Yes, Chief. Oh, what a bitter lesson I've learned. <laughs> Granny, where are you? In here, Jed. Granny, we gotta get out and vote. If it's like back home, the polls close at 10 and we... Why ain't you in your candidate outfit? Because I ain't a candidate, Jed. I'm withdrawn in favor of Miss Drysdale. You're what? I never knowed how much being possum queen meant to that woman. What you mean? Well, after I bested her at the rally, she went home, took to her bed, and she's been there ever since. It did seem to break her spirit. I don't want victory at that price. Let her ride in the parade this afternoon. Let her get the cheers and the glory. It's her hometown. <laughs> You're a little woman, but you got a mighty big heart. How Mr. Drysdale wants to see you. Hello, my friend. <laughs> what in tarnation happened to you? Ellie, fetch my jug. This poor man looks like he's been drugged through an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, 
chief tell them? Can't I wait for the jug? <laughs> All right. Mr. Clambert, Granny, I have something terrible to tell you. Oh, we heard about your wife, and you can stop worrying. Granny's pulling out of the race. What? We ain't even going into town to watch the parade. But that's what Mr. Drysdale has come to tell you. Yes, you see, I... You're positive you're not going into town? Positive. I don't want to take none of the glory away from Miss Drysdale. Oh, that's a wonderful gesture, Granny. Of course, it's too bad you're going to miss that fabulous parade. <laughs> it's going to be the greatest in the history of Possum Day. <laughs> Marching band, floats, giant balloons, mounted riders, clowns, jugglers, airplanes, tanks, and elephants. Sorry, I couldn't find it right off. Don't need it now, Ellie. Granny's news picked that poor man right up off the floor. He'll do the same thing for his wife, too. There's no greater honor than being possum queen. Yeah, Granny, it's always next year. Yeah, I know. But to help me through this year, don't you think I deserve a little, uh... All right, Granny, quick as a pole's clue. Happy possum day! Happy It's time to say goodbye to Jed and all his kin. They would like to thank you folks for kindly dropping in. You're all invited back next week to this locality to have a heaping helping of their hospitality. Hillbilly, that is. Set a spell. Take your shoes off. Y'all come back now, here. This has been a Filmways presentation. Viacom.